What's up, fight fans? Remember, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. If you're coming back to watch another video, much appreciated. All right, very, 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 very quick video. Um, Eddie Hearn. I can't lie. You know what it is about Eddie Hearn? Eddie Hearn came onto the scene, I don't know, about seven years ago? I don't know. It could be, could be seven, eight years ago. And I can't lie to you. I thought fresh face. I thought this is fantastic. I was a bit, I was becoming bored of Frank Warren and these stale events. And I, and I thought, you know, we need a fresh face here. And he took British boxing, I think, to the next level. I mean, some great nights. I mean, you cannot forget Carl Frotch Boutte. What, what a night that was. Incredible. Joshua Klitschko. Um, Carl Frotch, George Groves, the second one at Wembley. I mean, he really has put British boxing back on the map where some of the big American fighters are thinking, this is the place to be. And you know what? All credit to him. But recently, I think he's doing some dick moves. And I don't think there is a bigger dick move than what he's done with Amir Khan. Look, I'm all for the Amir Khan signing. It means we see Amir Khan again on Sky Sports. I'm a big, a big kind of advocate for boosting British boxing. Finally, Amir Khan fights back home, doesn't fight in the US to the US audience, fights to the UK audience who really do appreciate him, and fights in big arenas as well. Echo Arena is going to be the fight. And guess what Eddie Hearn does? And I didn't even notice this. I have to admit, I'm going to... Someone on my YouTube channel kind of pulled me up on this and said... Fair play to Eddie Hearn, Ame Khan, Echo Arena. But why the fuck has he put it on the same night Carl Frampton's fighting Anito Dunair? Why do that? That's just such a bitch move. Why not put it on a couple of weeks earlier or a couple of weeks later? It's just so ridiculous. I mean, this Anita Dunair, Carl Frampton card has been really sort of talked about for the last month. So that they booked that SSE Arena in Belfast ages ago. It's been rubber stamped. He's going to fight Dene on the 21st of April. Then, then just to get one up on him, Eddie Hearn signs Amir Khan, which would really piss Frank Warren off anyway, because I know Frank Warren was in the, in the Amir Khan business. Amir Khan was on Box Nation a couple of times, commented on Box Nation, got interviewed by Box Nation. Believe me, he was trying to sign Amir Khan. I think Frank, I was saying Eddie Hearn probably put in a last minute offer and Amir Khan jumped ship. So what do you do? You sign someone that you, your rival wanted, which is fair play, all fair in love and war, but then you go and put him on the same night that Carl Frampton's got a big fight against Anita Dunair. Just to do what? It just spoils. For me as a boxing fan, I don't want to switch channels. I want to watch one channel and that's it. I don't want to be flicking to see oh, what's happening between Dunair and or what's going on with Amir Khan. I think it's a bitch move and he's almost just trying to play a card here. And I think it's a card that could backfire. I think Carl Frampton is a big enough name now to compete with Amir Khan. And I don't know why you'd do that. Surely, surely you would want every single number on Amir Khan. All eyes on Amir. You don't want to compete with Carl Frampton against Anito Dinair. Why do you want to do that? So there's no way on earth Eddie Hearn's not going to try and stack that Liverpool card now just to piss Frank Warren off. But what he does in turn is alienate British boxing fans like myself, who just because of that will not tune in for Amir Khan, but will stream that fucking thing and watch it another time. Because it's a joke. And I don't know why he does that. But guys, there's my rant. Rant is over. What do you think of this? What do you make of this? If like me, you're pissed off, please follow up. If like me, you're not pissed off, then well, you're not a big boxing fan, are you? Okay, that's a joke. You obviously are a boxing fan, but you know what I mean. Cheers.